War never changes. Hello fellow Chosen, I'm Kato Genesis and welcome to a guide of all 20 locations of the dirty, dirty Cat's Paw magazines in Fallout 2. Miss Kitty in New Reno and Typhon of Broken Hills will all together request 11 of these magazines with varying degrees of rewards. Some of the Cat's Paw locations may not be easy to access for you depending on your character's skills, attributes, gender, and combat ability. Thankfully, there's more than 20 for this very reason, so let's find you a few dirty magazines. We start in Klamath, the first location revealed to you after leaving Arroyo. There are four locations for magazines here, and the first and easiest to find is behind the Golden Gecko Bar on the northwest side of town, lying on the floor of one of the town outhouses. The second can be purchased from the Dunton Brothers, whose shop is right next to the bar, which they go to each night anyway. The Dunton Brothers shop also restocks, so technically you could just keep returning to Klamath to purchase magazines from them and get your 11 magazines that way. Moving on though, the third magazine location is also in the Dunton Brothers shop, in the room with the locked door. If you can lockpick or force your way in, the cat's paw will be on the shelves. The fourth magazine you'll find in Klamath will be in the bathhouse. One of the helpful ladies here has it on her person, so if your steel skill or save scum patience is high, you can relieve it from her inventory. The next town we visit for magazines is the Den, in which there is one location on the west side of town. That would be Flick's shop near the center area in the slum house. There is a 50% chance or so that it will show up in his shop inventory. If it doesn't, you can leave for a few in-game days, then return to see if he has it then. Like it was mentioned for the Dunton brothers in Klamath, if you choose to go the vendor route for your magazines, you can alternate between the Dunton brothers and Flick's shop to buy as many magazines as you want if you're patient enough. After the den, we travel to Vault City, where there are a possible three Cat's Paw magazines to be found. We begin in the entrance of Vault City, also known as the Courtyard. On the northeast side, you'll discover the Spittoon, also known as Cassidy's Bar, owned by the one and only lovable bartender, Cassidy. In the back room, there will be a Cat's Paw inside the bookcase. The second id Vault City is within Vault 8, in which the city got its namesake. Under normal circumstances, you will need to be a citizen to enter the vault. On the first floor of the vault, you can speak to Phyllis, assistant to the doctor. If you are playing as a male character, when inquiring about the lack of children in Vault City, you can follow the chain of dialogue to offer your own DNA into Vault City's gene pool, during which time you can ask for a magazine, which will be a cat's paw, naturally. There is a second cat's paw in Vault 8 in one of the living quarters of Level 2. Take the elevator there and the cat's paw is within the foot locker in the corner room on the right side. Just northeast of Vault City is the ghoul settlement of Gecko, where we can obtain three more magazines, each in possession of one of these melted folk. The first location is one of the ghoul patrons of the Harp, an establishment just to the right of the entrance of Gecko. This magazine can be stolen from the ghoul closest to the bar. The next two magazines are inside the Poseidon energy plant, both held on too tight by a couple more of the townsfolk. The first ghoul you're looking for in the reactor is in one of the living quarters off to the left of the main lobby. This ghoul should at least start in the very same room as a rusted out locker that contains a yellow pass key. You can steal the magazine from him and might as well take the pass key because you can take that yellow pass key and use it to unlock the yellow doors to the southeast corridor. The third ghoul guard you'll come across in this hallway that has way too many doors will be holding the third magazine. If you don't feel like using the steel skill, Gecko might be worth skipping for this. A small location south of Vault City and Gecko is simply called Raiders. You would be correct in assuming who you'll find here. After clearing out the enemies in this cavernous barracks, you'll find a cat's paw inside of the main safe in the northwestern corner which you use the three dog tags to come up with a combination. The second cat's paw location in the Raider Barracks is inside a locked footlocker on the south side at the end of one of the bunk beds here. Heading south from the Raider Stronghold, you'll eventually come upon the United Settlement known as Broken Hills. The magazine here is simple to find and is found at the hotel's back patio inside of a pot. You'll know which one is the hotel thanks to the bickering couple of super mutants inside 
who may even allude to the dirty magazine being thrown out there in the first place. I'd like to remind you, Chosen, that Typhon also resides here in the residential district, who is one of the two NPCs that requests the Cat's Paw magazines from you. The next destination is far to the southeast corner of the map, Vault 15. Asking around will take you to the entrance of the vault, and after strolling or shooting your way inside, take the lift down to level 2. You might notice a pattern in layout with these living quarters. In the westernmost room, you'll see a wood desk with a handful of useful items including a cat's paw magazine. New Reno and its outlying areas are close to smack dab in the middle of the map, and there are several magazines that could be found in this land of debauchery. As I had mentioned, Miss Kitty resides here in New Reno also, and she's the one who wants the bulk of the magazines you collect. The first magazine I'll be showing is actually in one of the outlying locations called The Stables. Either start work for the Mordino family on Virgin Street, or learn from the chem pushers about where the jet comes from and you'll be able to get here. Towards the back of the main building is the lab, and down the ladder leads to the room of, in his own mind, the great and powerful Myron. The large bookshelf in his room contains a cat's paw magazine. Heading back to New Reno proper, the next magazine is found in the safe of John Bishop, leader of the Bishop family. Mr. Bishop's casino is the Shark Club on 2nd Street. This is one of the Cat's Paw magazines that I simply don't recommend unless you want the rest of what's in his safe, because in order to get it, you have to bypass Bishop himself, possibly sleeping with his wife, learn the combination or have a high lockpick skill, and avoid setting off the explosive trap on the safe, which will alert Bishop's guards if it gets set off. Then you'll have to leave the Sharks Club, which is way too tedious for one magazine. The third Cat's Paw magazine location in New Reno proper is much easier to get than the previous, because it's located on the property of the Wright family, the most relaxed of all four of the crime families. They are located on the east side of town, and the magazine you're searching for is underneath the train station. It's well hidden, but down here there is a cooler behind a giant stack of barrels. Head back there and you'll find the magazine, and a lot more than what this cooler should be able to even hold. Sierra Army Depot is one of the locations that aren't revealed to you until you begin a certain quest with a certain family. The Wright family, that's who you started with. After you finish up their Prove Yourself quest, Orville Wright will request that you break into an old army base with very active defenses. Superior firepower is recommended to get inside and making use of the howitzer too. After you are inside the Sierra Army Depot, make your way to the second floor of the base, there is a conference room with a desk and a terminal in it on the southeast side of level 2. Get into this office and the magazine you're looking for will be inside the metal desk. Fallout 2's main story eventually leads you to an enclave outpost known as Navarro. This is the location of the final Cat's Paw magazine on this list, and you can find it on the ground or surface level of the base. Head to Raoul's Hangar, also known as Maintenance, in the northwestern section, and loot the locker in the middle along the wall. Inside is the magazine we're looking for. No matter which magazines you choose to get, once you have 11 of the Cat's Paw magazines, you won't need to collect any more. As mentioned, Miss Kitty in New Reno's Cat Paw will ask for 10 of them, and Typhon in Broken Hill's Residential District will ask for one. Which method did you use to pick up the magazines you needed? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video useful and or entertaining, please show it however you see fit. If you'd like to be among the amazing wastrels credited on screen, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Speaking of, thank you so much to Wasteland Legend Sven, and thank you for watching. I'm Kato Genesis, and I wish you a safe journey in finding the Gek.